Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Awuwa where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we will be answering Is there a wireless broadband plan with unlimited speed and quota? And does a gaming laptop under 1500 ringgit exist? But before I ask Lokman to cue the intro, I would like to announce that we are currently looking for people to join the Soya Chinchao family. There's an opening for videographer and editor, BM tech writer, and social media manager. If any of these positions caught your attention, you can find more information with the card up top, with the card up top, or with the link in the description. Now, Lokman, cue the intro. But first, we'll start with a quick question about Genting Skyworlds. Which part of the system is using AI? Well, for those who missed Mr. Raymond's coverage of this news, Genting partnered with Alibaba Cloud to develop the region's first AI-powered virtual queue system for the Genting Skyworlds theme park. By using the Genting Skyworlds app, you can link your ticket to the app and virtually queue up for rides by pre-booking your time slot on the rides you want to experience. The AI part of the system is used to calculate the waiting times based on data collected from VQ reservations, cameras and sensors that monitor the number of people in queues. You can then view and experience other rides with shorter queues while you wait for your booked time slot. When your time slot is up next, the app will buzz you with a notification. Now, you will still have to queue for the rides, but your waiting time can be reduced to as little as 10 minutes. Genting hopes this system will help spread the crowd equally across the Sky World theme park. They will also use the data collected by the AI to figure out things like which ride is most popular, average visitors on any given day, and crowd movement. You can try out the virtual queue system for yourself by searching for the Genting Skyworlds app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Meanwhile, I will leave a link to Mr. Raymond's coverage of this news at the end of this episode. Moving on, we have another question regarding wireless broadband. The question reads, How about the cheapest Wi-Fi plan with unlimited speed and quota? Now, there is no internet service provider or ISP in Malaysia that offers a wireless broadband plan with both unlimited speed and quota. Therefore, here are some examples of the cheapest plan with unlimited quota and the cheapest plan with unlimited speed. U-Mobile offers a wireless broadband plan starting from 48 ringgit per month for 20 gigabytes of quota with unlimited speed. Meanwhile, YES offers 70 gigabytes of data for 68 ringgit a month again with unlimited speed. So you get 250% more data for an extra 41% fee compared to U Mobile. It's important to note that unlimited speed here means that you can access the maximum speed available on your ISP's network. Unlike fiber broadband, the speed isn't guaranteed. So if your area is congested, you might experience poor or sluggish network performance. As for the cheapest plan with unlimited quota, you can check out Unify Air Wireless Broadband Plan. It comes with unlimited data capped at 20 megabits per second and is available for 70 ringgit per month with a 100 ringgit upfront payment. However, before you choose the plan that you want to subscribe to, make sure that your area is under the ISP's coverage. I will leave a link to the coverage map for all three ISPs in the description below. Our final question for this episode posed a challenge to our resident PC guru, Mr. Raymond. The question reads, Sister, can you show me the cheapest gaming laptop under 1,500 ringgit? Firstly, let me say that this question was from one of Raven's AWA episodes. Secondly, according to Mr. Raymond, there are no gaming laptops on sale today for under 1,500 ringgit. Well, brand new at least. The cheapest one that I could find on Shopee Mall is the MSI GF63 for 2,808 ringgit. 
It is powered by a 10th gen Intel Core i5 10500H processor and 8GB of RAM which can be expanded. There is also an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Max-Q with 4GB of GDDR6 VRAM. As for the display, you get a 15.6 inch Full HD 60Hz IPS panel. With this configuration, you will be able to play AAA games at low to medium settings at 1080p while the laptop shouldn't have any issues handling eSport titles like Counter-Strike, Rocket League and Overwatch. I will leave a Shopee store link in the description if you wish to check it out. However, if you really need a gaming laptop on a 1500 ringgit budget, you can look to the second-hand market like Carousel. Just remember that you'll be getting much older hardware and there is no warranty. That's it for this episode. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter and Instagram to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next Aua! Bye-bye!